Oh, wow. That was a huge storm last night, wasn't it, Lofty? Yes, it was, Muck. It woke me up. Me too. It was amazing. Now, team, there's a lot of mess to clean up from last night's storm. And I've just heard that the high wind blew down one of the masts on Horatio Fixum's ship. Oh, no. I love that ship. It's really, really old. Are we going to fix it, Bob? Well, yes, I hope so, Lofty. We need to get over there and see what the damage is. So, is everybody ready? Ready! Yes, Bob. Ready, Bob. Ready. Then let's go. Wow, the storm made a really big mess, Bob. Yes, and all this will need clearing up, too. Uh... Ooh. Oh. Whoa, look at that! The moss must have made a huge crash when it came down. Oh, dear. I hope we can fix it. Bob, this is a disaster. A group of tourists are coming to see the ship tomorrow. And just look at it. It is a bit of a mess. Oh. Don't worry, Mr. Bentley. I'll order a new base section for the mast, and we'll get all this fixed for you. But can you fix it by tomorrow, Bob? Absolutely. We'll have everything shipshape again in no time. Oh, thank you so much. I'll leave it in your capable hands, then. See you later. Right. Lofty and Tread, I need you here to help, please. Will no do, Bob. Problem. Scoop and Muck, I'd like you two to clear up all that storm mess we passed on the way here and take it to the recycling center. I bet I can clean up more things than you, Muck. I bet you can't. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Nearly there. Phew. Wow, 10 pallets in a minute. That's really fast. Well done, Lofty. How does your new claw feel? I love it. It was worth waiting for. Now I want to build something 10 times bigger. That's good, because today I need you to do just that. Really? What is it? The new Spring City Pyramid. Spring City what he made? Pyramid. Pyramids were huge stone buildings. They were built thousands of years ago. Whoa. Our pyramid is going to house a new exhibition for the museum. That will be awesome. Let's get started. Am I going to be building the pyramid on my own, Bob? No, Lofty. Tiny's helping build it, too. I love working with Tiny. He's great! Oh, it's already half built. I thought we were starting from the beginning. We couldn't wait for your new attachment to arrive, Lofty. I just thought I was going to build more of it. There's still lots to do. The mayor's coming to inspect the pyramid tonight, and Tiny can't finish it on his own. You ready to help me with this thing, little guy? Oh, ready to go, Tiny! Nice claw! Yes, it's got twin hydraulic compaction for increased torque capacity. All right! Off we go, then. Hey, Bob. How's it going, Wendy? The exhibition chamber's built. Now we just have to install the fittings. <gasps> What's in those? Precious ancient artifacts for the exhibition. I need to get them sorted and safely inside the pyramid as soon as possible. No problem, Anish. Okay, team, this is a big job. Can we finish it? Yes, we can. <laughs>
crafty. Scoo! Guess what? Wendy says it's going to be Bob's birthday soon. Oh, wow! We can have a party! Yay! Yes, and she's getting him a present. It's a surprise. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. I don't know. Wendy, Wendy! What's the surprise? Shh, Buck. Well, what's the surprise job today? <laughs> no surprises today, Scoop. It's a big day, though. Is that because we have to finish putting in all the steel supports for the skyscraper, Bob? That's right, Leo. Just like this. We're finishing this part today. These supports hold up the rest of the building. And then after that, we'll be able to build on upwards. Whoa! That is awesome! Yes, it'll be the tallest building we've ever built. Now, Lofty, you'll help me, Wendy, and Leo. Got it, Bob. Not forgetting Tiny, of course. Hi there, Tiny. Ready for some tower power? Morning, Bob, everyone. Oh, yes, tower power at the ready. Excellent. Scoop and Muck, you'll dig the trenches for the pipes to bring water to the skyscraper. Will do, Bob. Yes, Bob. So, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know what Wendy's surprise present to Bob will be. Oh, really? Then what? It'll be... A new motorbike! Oh, yes! Bob would love that! Back in a mo! Or maybe it'll be a new saxophone. Hi there, Scoop. Oh, hello, Roland. Wendy asked me to deliver this. Why, what is it? I think it's something for Bob. Something for Bob? Pop it in here, Roland. I'll make sure Wendy gets it safely. Excellent. Thanks, Scoop. Say hi there for me. Will do, Roland. Bye. 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 What's happening? Look at this. Look. Roland just brought it. It's something Wendy ordered. And Roland thinks it's for Bob. Hadn't you better give it to him then? No, don't you see? Wendy ordered it and it's for Bob. So it must be her surprise present for him. Oh, hmm. What's wrong, Scoop? You do know the way back, don't you? Um, um, well, uh, um, uh, no. <gasps> that means we're lost! <laughs> don't worry, I'm brilliant at outdoor skills. Let me think. Um, when you're lost, you, um... You don't know what to do, do you? Yes, I do. Um, when you're lost, you, uh, you... Yes! Oh, you send out an SOS like this! <gasps> huh? What's that? It sounds like Scoop sending an SOS. But I thought he was working on the path with Muck. Scoop and Muck aren't here. Right, Lofty? Come on, let's go and find him. Yes, Bob. It's coming from over there. Righto. <laughs> now we just have to wait. Um, care for a sing song? Not really, no. Scoop! <gasps> Mike! Where are you? That's Bob! We're here! Over here! Found you! Scoop? Muck? What happened? I wanted to go on a hiking and camping adventure, Bob. I thought I could just go. I didn't know there was so much to learn. Well, yes. A camping trip needs to be prepared. And you must always tell someone where you're going. Scoop knew the signal for help, Bob. Yes, you're right, he did. Well done, Scoop. Thank you. Now, come on. The campsite is due to reopen soon. We need to get back. Yeah, let's go and finish the park.
Adventure Center is wonderful. Thank you all so much. Hi, Hi Uncle, Uncle Phil. Phil. Ah, my first summer campers. I now declare the campsite open. Yes! Oh, no. Careful, Lofty. Look out. Whoa. <laughs> the wind's blowing the horseshoe, Lofty. You need to shorten the hoist line. Oh. Oh, I can't control it, Bob. Drone. Oh no. Did you get any of that? Oh no. I am so sorry. I ruined everything. Don't worry, Lofty. We can get a replacement panel for the fence from the yard. And this section of the gateway is cracked just here. We'll need to replace it. Okay, Scoop and I can pick up a new one of those, too. My drone is broken, but the camera's okay, thank goodness. Hooray! The camera still works! Why did you lift with such a long hoist in this wind, Lofty? I was trying to get away from the drone. I don't like being filmed. I'm just a bit shy, I suppose. I'm sorry, Lofty. I'll keep you out of shot from now on. And Bob, I won't need you to do any more talking. Really? I'm afraid so. You're, um, not really a natural on camera. <laughs> That's a relief. What? The truth is, Lofty, I don't like being on camera either. Especially talking on camera. Well, hey, I'm not the only one. So, who is going to be on camera explaining what's going on? Hey. Mm? Actually, Scoop, I think I know who'd make a great replacement. At last! <laughs> I'm ready for my big mo- Huh? What do you think, Wendy? Can I film you? Yes, yes you, you can! can. Oh, yes, you can. Racecourse's new gateway all finished. And cut! Well. Ah, looking good. Yep, nice sharp sides. Same depth all the way along. Now get it all nice and even and no gravel spilled over the sides. Yes! Amazing scoop does it again! Awesome! Ooh, this is a nice path, Scoop. Thanks, Lofty. Oh, it's just what I do, you know. Do you think Dash will notice how good it is? You can show him yourself. Dash is here. Yep, just over. Ah, he is. Dash Lightning. Dash Lightning. Bob the Builder, the man who can. Hi, Dash. Wow, this is going to be some walkway. I'll be back shortly to see you put up my nameplate. But I have to see Sky first. Don't finish before I get back, will you? Oh, don't worry, Dash. We'll still be here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dash, lightning. Oh, no. What? Dash is talking to Stretch. And? I wonder what they're talking about. Hey, Dash, I can't believe I'm talking to you. The honor is all mine, Stretch. Zoom. Boom! Dash Lightning loves his fans! My friend Scoop over there, he's your biggest fan. He's looking at me! I have to do something amazing! Mm. He's an amazing digger. You wanna see his work? I really do, Stretch. But later. Right now, I have to zoom a boom zoom. Love your work, guys! Ah! Oh, he's coming this way! I have to do something amazing! Like, like! Yes! I'll lift all that lumber! Hurry, Scoop, hurry! Oh, no! Dash is going! Hoppa! Amazing! Scoop! Oh. I'm really stuck. 
Okay, where's the lumber for the walkways, Wendy? They should be over here. Hmm, that's odd. There's some here, but not nearly enough. What? Hold on, Bob. There's a piece over there. Here's another, and another, and another. Oh, no. What are you doing down there, Scoop? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I just, um... I'm a little, um... Uh, Bob, whose shed is Philip using for the night? I don't mind sleeping outside with all the bats and the ghosties. Thanks, Scoop. Phew, that's good. I don't like sleeping outside. <sighs> the cylinders are packed away safely, Bob. Thanks, Scoop. Now, we've got an early start tomorrow, so it's time for bed. Good night, everybody. Night. Night, night. Night. Good night, Bob. <sighs> I can't sleep. Is something wrong, Philip? There's a smell of oil and oh, old cloths. Yeah, that's my collection of old oily rags. I can't possibly sleep in here. You can have my shed if you like. Um, careful as you back right in. It's a little bit... Yes, thank you, Lofty. I'm very good at parking. Right. Hmm. Acceptable. Is everything okay, Philip? Who's using a chainsaw at this time of night? Oh, that's just Roly snoring. I got used to it. It's actually quite pleasant. Well, I can't sleep in this shed. I need peace and quiet. Muck, I need your shed. Really? I can't sleep outside. What if there was a dust storm in the night? Oh, okay. Yes, very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh. Thank you. Oh. I suppose I'll have to find somewhere else to sleep. You'll get poor prints all over me. Get off! A bucket stand! But how are you going to get all the way up on your bucket? Well, to start with, I just need to lift my back end up a bit. I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm... Oh. oh. Maybe you just can't do a bucket stand, Scoop. No, maybe not. One more push-up beam to go. <sighs> Me too. Finished. <sighs> well done, Wendy. Now we need to mix up the cement. Don't tell me, Bob. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> you got it. It's no good, Dizzy. I'm not getting anywhere with my bucket stand. Hmm. When Sappy does handstands, she usually does them against a tree, and she takes a run-up to it. That's it! You're a genius, Dizzy! Huh? I can do my bucket stand against a tree and do a great big drive-up! There's a tree! Um... Scoop! No! When I say... Don't worry, Dizzy! Spring City's first ever bucket stand! It's a wobbly wheel. Oh, 
Oh, no! Uh-oh. What happened here, Scoop? Um, well, I was trying to do something I'd never done before. Well, you've definitely made a mess like this before. Uh, these parallel bars look a bit bent. A little bit more than bent. And we need those to finish the exercise trail. And it's all my fault. <gasps> I know! If I race to the yard and pick up some new bars, Maybe we can still finish on time. Well, you won't have long. Sky will be back soon. You have to be really fast, Scoop. That's it! If I can get to the yard and back that quickly, that really will be something I've never done before. Yes, all right. You can go fast. <gasps> but carefully, Scoop. Yes! Faster than I've ever been before! Faster than I've ever been before! OK, team. We've still got lots of parts that aren't bent. And the monkey bars are OK. But without Scoop, we'll have to do all the digging ourselves. Hmm. Hi, everyone. Oh, Bob, everything will be finished before we reopen this afternoon, won't it? Yes, don't worry. Leo and the machines will build the bear's new climbing frame while I repaint the washroom and fix the plumbing. Oh, and could you take a look at the sign over the penguin enclosure, too? It looks a bit wobbly. Of course. Let's do that now. It's your build, Leo. You call it. Thanks, Bob. Well, team, can we build it? Yes, we can! I just tried to make a cup of tea, but there's no water. <laughs> I know. I switched it off so I can do the plumbing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Silly me. I don't suppose... Yes, I'll switch it back on so you can make some tea. Hilchard? What's she doing here? She wanted to come to work with me. She really shouldn't be here, Scoop. But I've trained her well, like Steffi trained her dog Rex. She'll behave herself. I know she will. You won't tell Bob, will you, Leo? Lofty? Okay, then. I suppose not. But you have to look after her at all times, Scoop. I will. Promise. Go on, Pilchard. You stay away from the build so you're safe. See? She does everything I say. How's it going? Ah! Hello, Bob. <laughs> you okay, Scoop? Oh, uh... Oh, uh, yes, Bob. Fine, thanks. No problems. Right. Oh, yes, this is all looking great. <laughs> thanks, Bob. I'll get on with the painting, then. Call me if you need anything. Of course, right away. Pelchard. Oh, there you are, girl! <gasps> Was Pilchard in that pile of wood? Oh, Scoop. She could have been hurt if Lofty had picked up one of those posts without knowing. I only took my eye off her for a second and she wandered off. She shouldn't be here at all, Scoop. Now I can go be Mr. Bentley's chauffeur again. Muck, there you are. Oh, hello, Bob. What's going on, Muck? All the materials are in the wrong places. Um, really? Are you sure? Yes, the skyscraper materials are at the stadium station, and these are the materials for Safi's playhouse. Oh, no. I should never have said I'd be Mr. Bentley's chauffeur. You said what? I'm sorry, Bob. Mr. Bentley asked me to help him get to his appointments. I thought I could do both jobs at once. It is really hard trying to do two jobs at the same time, Muck. That's why I got in a muddle. Maybe 
If I do one job at a time, I can still get it all done. Well, yes. That does seem like a good plan. Hmm. If I bring the green materials back here, then take Safi's playhouse back to the yard, then I can pick up the red materials for the stadium station. And then I'll pick up Mr. Bentley. Can you fix it? Yes, I can! Two stands down and, and one, one to, to go. go. Okay, Tread, we need to go to the stadium station next. Stadium station it is. On my way. I'm back. And I've got all the right materials this time. Thanks, Muck. All we have to do now is put it all together. And I think Mr. Bentley might need his chauffeur now, Muck. Okay, Bob. See you later. Mr. Bentley. Oh, Muck, am I glad to see you. I'm sorry I left you stranded. Don't worry, you've been a perfect chauffeur. Now, let's meet the mayor at the stadium station. Okay, Mr. Bentley. <laughs> oh. Oh, <laughs> that's where my other sock got to. And... <gasps> Oh, I could listen to the lovely music all day. Good, everyone. Well done. Bravo! Bravo! I think it's time for you all to return to the yard and help Leo with the tidying up. Okay, Bob. Let's go. Bye. See you later, Bob. Bye. Oh. oh. Um, Rolly. Can't I stay a bit longer? Well, there's not. But I like hearing you practice. Yes, but... Luncheon is served. Tuna, spinach, and banana sandwiches. Great. Right. Excellent. Come on, Bob. Jump right in. Coming. See you later. Hmm. What is Leo doing in there? Uh, hi, guys. What are you doing? You can make some really crazy sounds with this stuff. Huh? Listen. Wow. How exciting. It's great, Leo. Hey, we can make our own band. Scoop and the Machines. That's a silly name. And anyway, we're supposed to be tidying up. And we will, Lofty, we will. After we've made some music. Well, as my old dear granny always used to say, a band can't play on an empty stomach. Oh, that was absolutely delicious. Leo? What? Hello? Is that you, Bob? Can you hear me? What's all that noise? Pardon? Sorry, Bob. It's a bit noisy. Keep it down, guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! Forgot to tell him. Uh. Why is it taking so long to put the supplies away? Uh, uh, um... uh, never mind. Let's get both these jobs finished today, guys. We can do it. Come on, Lofty. You're with me. Okay. If 
if we find Pilcher quickly, Bob will never need to know she was missing. We need to look everywhere. Let's go. Where are you? Frightened Pilchard out of the yard, but I don't want to worry Bob. I need to find her. Oh, I'll help you. No, no sign of. No sign of what, Dizzy? Oh, uh, no sign of us finishing anytime soon. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Whoa! It wasn't me! I didn't clip anything! No! Pilchard! She's in the car wash! She might shrink and be the size of a hamster! No, she's not there. <gasps> Maybe she's gone back to the yard. Strange. How did that start up? Pilchard! Oh. I guess the supplies are all put away now. Hmm? Uh, doing it now, Bob. I'll need some help. Oh. Yeah, okay. Here. Here. Here, kitty kitty. Leo? Oh. Shouldn't you be supervising back at the yard? Um, uh, yes, Wendy. But I, uh, need Lofty to look in to some more heavy lifting. Really? How heavy? Um, you need to come and look, Lofty. Oh, I'll look, Leo. That's very important. They're all acting very strangely today, Bob. Hmm. Pilchard! Pilchard! Please come back! We miss you! Stop there, Muck. That's enough to make it half full. And perfect. Ooh, look. Where'd that crate come from? It's like in Bob's story. Yes, but Bob said it wasn't scary because Wendy had moved it. So has Wendy moved this crate then, Scoop? Uh, no. There's no one else here. So we're alone? And the crate just got there, all by itself? Quick, Scoop, do something brave! Get the crate out of here! Of course. Sure, yeah, yeah, I can do that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. oh, look! Wendy is here! You must have moved the crate. You did move it, didn't you, Wendy? Please say you moved it. Please. Yes, I left it on the path whilst Lofty was finishing the entrance. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you all. Oh, you didn't scare Scoop. He's way too brave. Right, Scoop? Oh, th th that's right. I, I wasn't scared at all. Not one bit. Oh, so they're the pretend dinosaur bones to hide in the sand pit. Yes. And there are three more crates. Can one of you collect them whilst I check things here? Scoop will do it. Huh? Thanks, Scoop. Sure. I'll go. No problem. He is so brave. Really, really brave. I'm not scared. Tra la 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 la. I'm thinking happy thoughts about digging in places that aren't scary, like, like this one. OK, right. Just one long path to go. So I'm going to go. I'm going now. Just the wind. 
begin, begin. There's nothing scary here. There's nothing scary at all. Scoop? Well, we've checked the rest of the building. The answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We found our ghosts, Wendy. They're bats. Lofty, Mr. Bentley, we've solved the mystery. It's bats. Where are they? Um, uh, over here. <laughs> um. <laughs> it's okay, Lofty. Look at the bats. Aren't they wonderful? Oh, yeah. They are amazing. But I wonder how bats got inside the town hall. Bats only come out at night, so they must have been sleeping somewhere inside during the day. They flew out of the fireplace, so maybe they were in the chimney. Yes, good thinking. We'll go up and check in the morning. You were right, Wendy. I found this hole yesterday and sealed it up. If that's how the bats were getting inside the chimney, they wouldn't be able to get out again afterwards. The bats were sleeping in the chimney. I accidentally blocked up their way out. So all you have to do is make another way out for them. It isn't that simple, Lofty. It's okay for bats to sleep there when it's summer, but they'd be hurt if anyone lit a fire when it's cold. Oh, no! You've got to find a way to keep the bats safe, Bob. Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll build the bats a new house and put it by the chimney where they used to sleep. I'm sure the bats will feel at home in their splendid new bat house. Now I need to work out how to tell the mayor about her new neighbors. <laughs> Good luck with that, Mr. Bentley. Oh, dear. I knew all along that the town hall wasn't really haunted. Of course you did, Lofty. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> Have you practiced your speech to the Spring City Rockets yet, Rowley? No. I don't need to practice, but you might forget what you're going to say in front of all those people. I won't forget anything. All the same, would you like to hear my golden rules for speaking in front of people? No thanks, Scoop. Honestly, it's only the rockets. I'll be fine. Okay, if you're sure. That's good. The first layer of gravel is looking nice and flat. Rolly? You can take a break while Muck and Scoop unload the next lot. Okay. Thanks, Bob. Oh, hi there, Rolly. Hiya, Sky. The Rockets told me about your speech. It sounds kind of interesting, so I thought I'd come along and listen too. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Uh, no. If you're really interested. Oh, and when I told Mr. Bentley, he said he might pop along as well. I expect he'll probably come along with the mayor. What? See you later. I suppose that's all right. You okay, Rolly? Well, no, actually. There are loads more people coming to hear my talk to the Rockets. Huh? Could you tell me your golden rules for making speeches after all, Scoop? Sure. Rule one is... Scoop? Could you bring over the rakes, please? No problem, Bob. I better go. But what about the golden rules? This is the final layer of gravel, Bob. Great. Time for Rolly to do some rolling. Rolly? Where is he? He's over there, look, on the soccer field. Oh, yeah. I'll go and get him. 
Then, for stage two of building the hard court, I rolled a layer of gravel really flat. Or is that stage three? I think I've done stage two already. Oh, now I'm in a muddle. Where was I, Gull? Rolly! What are you doing all the way over here? I'm practicing my speech, Bob. But when I try, I imagine all the people looking at me, and I forget what I'm going to say. Don't worry, Rolly. All you have to do is relax, and you'll remember everything we've done. You'll be fine. Come on. I need you to roll the final layer of gravel. OK, Bob. <laughs> Hi, Rolly. Oh, hello, Muck. Hey, are you worried about your speech? Me? No, I'm very relaxed. Great, because Chef Patty, May Moon, and Carl Parker are coming. What? Well, on the way here, I bumped into them, and I told them all about it, and they're very excited. So am I. Oh, no, that's too many people. I'll get nervous and forget what I'm supposed to say. I really need Scoop's golden rules now. I'm ready to work, Bob. Anytime, anywhere, any place. Just show me the spot. That's great, Stretch. Oh, but don't say anything to make Scoop feel left out, will you? He's very disappointed that he can't dig today. Oh, OK. Of course not, Bob. Oh, here comes Bob. I better get back to work. See you, Scoop. See you, Shifter. So, I suppose I'll have to stay here at the yard then, Bob. No, no, Scoop. I'm sure there's something you can do. For a start, you can give me a lift back and pick up Stretch's pile driver. No problem, Bob. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Scoop. But it'll save us time, and I'll be very, very careful. I promise. Please, Bob. Please, 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 please. <laughs> okay, Scoop. There might be somewhere safe for you to work. Yes, you can dig out the line of uprights nearest the slipway. There's not so much seaweed there, but you must still be very careful. Yes! I, I will, Bob. Promise. Lucky. Right, it's digging time at last. Oh, 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 Bob was right. This is really slippy. Oh, slipping, slipping, slipping. Oh. Glad you could join in, Scoop. Thanks, Stretch. Ew. There, one jetty finished. One more to go. Oh, no. Stretch is almost finished. I have to work faster. Oh, but it's too slippery to dig properly. Ah, three rows all done. Great work, Stretch. One row left. Would you like me to help you, Scoop? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, thanks, Stretch. I can finish it. No problem. Okay, you got it. Bob, I'm ready for my pile driver. Oh. Whoa. Hi, Anish. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container by any chance? I'm afraid not, Muck. I was expecting a delivery of ancient Egyptian statues. But this seems to be full of sporty stuff like soccer balls and hockey sticks. Oh, I must find two ton. Did he say where he was going next? No, he didn't. Sorry, Muck. <sighs> OK. See ya. Bye, Muck. Ooh, this is awesome! This ride's gonna be the coolest thing we've ever built. <sighs> What's taking Muck so long? He and Two-Ton should be back by now. Oh. Oh, 
Hello, Muck. Hello, Hello Muck. Yeah. We're off to the sports stadium. Sky's got a big surprise for us. Oh, that's exciting. I'm looking for Tutan, but I can't find him anywhere. Have you seen him? We passed him at the town hall not long ago. It looked like he was dropping off a big delivery. Thank you so much, Betsy. See ya. Oh, be careful now. Oh, dear me, no. Hello, Mr. Bentley. I'm looking for Dash Lightning's movie props. Are they in that container, please? Uh, no. Just dozens of old statues packed in crates of straw. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Bentley. Bye. I was expecting new furniture for the town hall. A sofa for the mayor's office, some lovely colorful cushions. I'm never going to find two ton in time. Now I'll have to tell Bob the bad news. It's looking great. We're getting there, Wendy. But we still need to install those props, Bob. And soon. Ah, there you are, Muck. Any luck? Oh, Bob, I'm so sorry. I've been looking everywhere, but I still can't find Two-Ton. But without that container of props, we can't finish the ride. I did see one container at the museum and another at the town hall, but they didn't have our props. Ah, but what was inside the muck? Uh, let's see. Mm, Mr. Bentley had statues, but he wanted sofas. Anish had huh. soccer balls and sporty stuff, but he wanted statues. Well, we've got Mr. Bentley's sofas. That's right, Leo. So where would all the sporty stuff need to go? The, the sports, sports stadium. stadium. Oh, Betsy and the Spring City Rockets were going to the sports stadium. Safi said something about a big surprise. That could be it. A surprise container of sports equipment. Come on, Muck. Let's go and find out. Well, this is a surprise, Tutan. Just not quite the one I was expecting. Thanks, Scoop, but I haven't filmed Muck yet. Aww. You want to film me? Are you sure? Just tell the camera how you clear away dirt. Oh. Oh, I, um... Uh, 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 Don't worry, Muck, I've got this. As you can see, breaking up the ground makes a lot of mess. So we have to clean up after ourselves. Scoop, you're gonna hit the... Oops! Oh, intercom unit. Uh-oh. Oh, oh don't, don't worry. It's just a little bump. It'll be fine. Oh! Oh. Oh, uh, I'm clearing, uh, dirt. <laughs> and I'm pouring cement. Then we'll put large stones on top of it to make the new curve. Oh, but I'm the one with the talent and good looks. There. The intercom is ready. Great. And now it's time for a milkshake. You're not going to make another one. Don't worry, Wendy. This time, I'm going to make a simple strawberry milkshake. What could go wrong? Oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> I forgot to put the lid on. Hmm. Oh, it's almost time for the opening. How am I ever going to be the star of Leo's film? Hi, Scoop. The Spring City Rockets are ready to be the first drive through customers. So, where do we go? This way, Betsy. I'll show you. <gasps> That's it! Hey, Leo! Betsy and the Rockets are here. Why don't I lead them through the drive through for your film? Oh, that's a great idea. This is going to be the grand finale. So let's make it the best bit. Okay. Get ready, everyone. The drive through is opening. And... And action! Welcome to the new milkshake bar drive through First up, the menu! Wow! This looks awesome! What can we order? Cool! Uh-oh! Scoop, you're blocking the way! Everything okay? Of course! Uh, everything's fine, because, because Chef Tati will now ask for your order. Whoa! Oh, watch out! <laughs> <sighs> the 
Dum -dum 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 -dum. The watchful superhero patrols. Bus the... off! Go away! Aha! Uh -huh. A citizen in distress. <laughs> You've been saved by. Oh! oh. Oops! Sorry, Chef Tutty. Gotta fly! Faster than a speeding tractor. Oh! 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 oh. Lady Tibbles, come down this instant, young lady. Another rescue? This is my lucky day! Never fear! Super Scoop is here! <laughs> whoop, pow, whoop, whoop! You've been saved! Uh, I'll try again. Thanks, Scoop, but that won't be necessary. I'll go and get a ladder. Rescues worked properly. Maybe there'll be someone I can rescue back in the park. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, sign. <gasps> that could fall and hurt someone. Super scoop to the rescue. Hey, careful, scoop. Yeah. Ouch. Faster than a speeding tractor. More... Oops, no! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Ow. Stay still, Scoop. We'll get you out from under there. Oh. A superhero is supposed to be strong and brave. They shouldn't need rescuing. I'm a super zero. A true hero doesn't need super strength or bravery, Scoop. A true hero thinks before they act. Thanks, Wendy. How come you know so much about superheroes? Well, I, um... Oh. Phew. Hello? Oh, hi, Mayor Madison. Hello, Bob. Just to let you know, I'm on the way to the premiere with Mr. Lightning. See you soon. Oh dear, this is unfortunate. Oh dear, how can we possibly fix this screen in time? Hmm. Oh, maybe we could use the billboard as a screen. That's a super idea, Scoop. Now, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Whoa! Man overboard! Gotcha. Uh, uh, what were you doing up there? Mr. Bentley wanted me to fly a flag from the mast. I see. You're a bundle of ideas today, aren't you, Captain Bentley? Just doing my job, Bob. Glad my expertise can be of help. Perhaps we could use your, um, expertise to check the weather forecast for the sea trial. Splendid idea! Where can I find the ship's barometer? We don't have one. Perhaps you could use my tablet to search the internet. Oh, not exactly what Horatio Fixum would have used, but I suppose it will have to do. Okay, Leo. We'll fix the crow's nest later. Come and help me attach the rudder. Oh. Oh, dear. Not good at all. There's a strong westerly wind on the way and the tide's going out. We need to make sure the ship is tied safely to the dock. Uh, Bob! In a minute, Captain Bentley. Never mind. This is a job for the captain. I shall retie the ropes myself, just to be sure. Over, under, pull it tight. Make a bow and it's tied right. There. All secured. Uh, ready for the sea trials, Bob? Not yet, Captain Bentley. Uh, I do wish they'd hurry up. I can't wait to get out on the open sea. Huh? What's happening? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Whoa. <gasps> The ship! And 
Captain Bentley! I haven't connected the engine yet! He's going to drift out to sea! Back up, Lofty! Quick as you can! Yes, Bob. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Off we go, Lofty! Follow that ship! Mr. Bentley! Drop the anchor! I... I don't know how! I'll stop it, Bob! <laughs> oh, missed. I can't reach! What? I can't reach! What? Oh, double dear. We're heading for the open sea. What do we do, Gull? Oh, no. Bob, quick, get in! I can catch her up. It's time to find your sea legs. Jump in, landlubber! It's on. Well, at least it's not on the beach. But the tide is coming in, which means it soon will be. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. If we have a messy beach, the visitors won't stay. And all my plans for carnivals, regattas, and fix some fun, fun, fun will be for nothing. This will be a disaster. I've got a bite. Yeah? I've got a bite. Uh, oh. See? The disaster is happening already. Oh, I wish we could collect it all before it reaches the beach. If only... Yes, that's it, Lofty. That's exactly what we'll do. Huh? There's more than enough. Uh, did I suggest something clever? You did, Lofty. We can make floating booms out of your wood and use them to catch all the debris. Oh, that does sound clever. Oh, no. Ugh. Curtis, can you give us a hand to collect all that garbage? Yes, of course, Bob. Anything if it means I can catch fish instead of rotting boots. Excellent. Just one more thing. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. There's a bit of an emergency down at the beach. Would you please bring us a long rope? OK, no problem. I'm on my way. Okay, Lofty, you and Curtis are going to sweep along the shore and collect all the garbage with the booms. Got it, Bob. Okay, Curtis, let's go. Whoa, what? Take it easy, Lofty. Yes, you need to coordinate with Curtis and work together. Righto, coordinate. Righto, Curtis, I'll stay here. You bring the boom round toward the beach. <laughs> That driftwood was good for something after all. But dumping's what I usually do. I thought you'd make a nice neat pile like mine. You should have said. Oh, yeah, silly me. Muck, can you make a nice neat pile like mine, please? Yes, Shifter, I can. Awesome! <laughs> Lofty and I have to go back to the yard, Dizzy. You need to stay here with Leo till we get back. That's okay, Bob. No problem. Just make sure he takes it slowly this time. Mm-hmm. That's more like it, Leo. Lofty and I are running out for a while, okay? Of course, Bob. See you later. You can do this, Leo. You just need to slow down. Get into a rhythm. I know, but how? I'm not very good at going slowly either. Uh, oh, I know. Have you got any music on your phone? Something with a rhythm that you can work in time to? Uh, slow. Slow. How about this? Wow, that is really slow. Perfect. Off you go. Ooh, this is wonderful. <sighs> I 
think I'm getting the hang of this now, Shifter. Very neat and tidy. It's almost as good as mine. Oh, no. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Oops. Awesome. Huh? My turn, my turn. He shoots, he scores. Yes. <laughs> yes, look at that. All completely level. What do you think, Dizzy? <gasps> oh, it's perfect, Leo! Bob's gonna be so proud of you! Thanks, Dizzy! Whee! Hello? <laughs> Hi, Bob! Hi, Leo! How's it going? Really well, thanks! Dizzy says the wall's perfect! Oh, great! I'll be back soon! Okay, see you later! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? <laughs> and he scores again! My turn! My turn! <gasps> I see you haven't got very far with your assessment then, Mock. <gasps> Shifter, we're supposed to be cleaning up. Here we are, Spring City Stadium. What a perfect place to play sports. Mainly because I always win. Really, Scoop? What was the last thing you won? Well, there's... Um, can't remember at the moment. Bob, what are these over here? Those are the bleachers that people will sit on to watch the sports. Lofty's going to put them in place with a little help from a big friend. Isn't that right, Tiny? <laughs> That's right. Looking forward to working with you, partner. Uh, looking forward to working with you, too, uh, partner. I love it when I get to work with Tiny. Well, you're going to need all of Tiny's help because those look so heavy. They won't be a problem. Look. <laughs> See? Easy. It didn't sound easy. You all right, Lofty? Me? Yeah, of course. I'm fine. Ooh, look. What's Wendy doing? Oh. Ooh. What are you doing, Wendy? This is where you and I will be digging a channel and laying a drainage pipe. It's going to go all the way around the edge of the stadium. That is a lot of pipe. Yes, but I'll have finished my job before you finish yours. I'll be the winner! Yes! It's work, Scoop, not a sport. We all work as a team, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right, Bob. Sorry. Is this where I'll be placing the seating sections, Bob? That's right. Two-ton delivers them outside. Tiny passes them over to you. Another section coming in, Bob. Thanks, Tiny. And you put them in place like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. So, team, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Lofty. Yeah. You know, these sections aren't that heavy. Hmm. Okay. Watch out below! Here comes another! <laughs> <laughs> 